I split up my seeds. I want to make a cream because I've made cashew cream before, savory um, and some sweet, um, and it was it was it was the bomb. You know, it was, it was a great great treat. Uh, you keep it frozen, you take it out. So in the summertime, it's nice. It's a nice treat to have. Um, you can let it come out to room temperature. Uh, hit me up about that recipe because it was really really good, and I might make it for you guys one day. Um, I said the texture of these nuts are so creamy. I love to make a cream from it or a spread. Something that you can put on a cracker, something that you could put on bread. Uh, and those that's the other half that I roasted at 400 with a teaspoon of olive oil and a half a teaspoon of salt. So let's check and see how we did. Nice. Oh man, whoo, I can't wait to taste these. They look really good. So that's, that's the version that I spoke about, roasting them. So we've done it that way. So we're going to do it one, two, three ways. I got three different creams um, that I want to try or toppings that I'm going to try. I'm going to use my fresh bread that I purchased today. And we're going to use that so you can see me spread it. You can use a cracker. You can sure, sure use this as a crudite with your carrots and celery, whatever you got going on. I would definitely use it for that too. So um, I've got my seeds left over. And this, the, this is such a thin skin, I'm keeping it. Now, if you don't know, there's a lot of nutrients in the skin of fruits and seeds. You know, we, we tend to try to disregard them and don't use them, but I wanna get all the nutrient value that I'm supposed to get. So I'm leaving it on, it's really, really paper thin. I'm making it into a cream. I'm not even gonna taste it, so I'm leaving it in. Um, I, I, I got some crispy uh, jalapenos, it's non-GMO. It does have flour, so it's not gluten-free. Um, these are really good. They're good for like salads, sandwiches, whatever you wanna do. Um, I bought some strawberries here. Um, for my sweetener, I'm using that grade A dark color maple syrup instead of using sugar. Um, I also have that creamer. I chose to use the coconut and almond milk coffee creamer. This is what I'm gonna use to get that creamy consistency with my cream base for my seeds. And then just to play around with some things, I have some dried fruit. I have some apples and some tart cherries, um, just to play around with that. Um, and I also have a Bartlett pear, cause tis the season, right? So um, let's, get to, let's get this recipe going. Okay, so we're back. So I have us all set up to do this recipe. Now I'm doing this recipe for the first time. So this is my recipe testing. So I'm doing my recipe testing with you and this is something that I usually do in my kitchen when I'm just trying to figure things out, menus, what I want to cook, what different things I want to work with. So enjoy the journey with me because this is how I get down and I have all my fun in the kitchen. So for right now, I want to make the cream base. So I'm going to take my nuts or seeds rather. I keep saying nuts, they're seeds. Um, and I'm gonna put them in my food processor. Now this is a manual food processor. If you have, you know, uh, your normal food processor, you can definitely use that, but hands work like magic in the kitchen too. So this is a manual food processor. And to that, I'm gonna add some of that coconut and almond milk creamer. Just a little, cause I don't want it, I don't want it to be like liquidy, right? I don't want it to be like a sauce. I want it to be like a creamy texture. And so that's about two teaspoons of maple syrup and about a quarter cup of the creamer that I used. So that's gonna give it the sweetness and the cream creamer is gonna give it that nice creamy texture that I'm looking for. So when you think about plant-based lifestyle, vegan, vegetarianism, 
and you don't want to do the dairy products uh, like sour cream or cream cheese this is certainly an alternative that you can use and you can make it savory or you can make it sweet this time we're making it sweet because that's what i'm into right now so i'm gonna take i'm gonna open it up just to check the consistency to see what it's like okay still working on it okay so um it's all done be able to process it i'll show you what it looks like so it's all broken down so it's the same way i would make my cashew cream soaking them in this instance we boil them um and this is the consistency that you're going to get of the cream so let's taste it because i'm a big big fan of tasting it as you go um to see if it's what i want it to be very creamy i think i'm going to add just a little bit more um maple syrup just a little bit more okay taste it boom there it is now I don't know about you but I always like a little pinch of salt to give it that balance Okay, so let's try the different variations. So I have some bowls here so you can see what I'm doing. And basically, I'm just going to put a little bit of this mixture here. And then I'm going to put a little bit in this bowl. So um, this is just a quick recipe test by sure, by all means. You can definitely make more of this uh, if you had some more um, seeds. And speaking of seeds, let's do, they're all cooled off now. So let's taste them. Mmm, see, I like that. This is good. I could, I could snack on these. I like to snack on Roasted nuts all the time. A little bit of sea salt. This is good. And the leaving the skin on gives it a nice crunchy texture on the outside. And I really, really like that. I'm a big fan of texture and crunch. So this is a ballpark for me. See that? You hear that? I like that. This is good. Have you ever seen my my show or my episode about roasting nuts, you can flavor them. Turmeric, all, kind, all kinds of stuff. You can flavor your nuts however you want. Okay, so let's see how we want this to be. So let's take a strawberry and we'll cut them and get a knife. We'll take the head off of the strawberry and we will cut it in half. So this is my version of a plant-based um, strawberries and cream. I like it. And next, we're gonna take these dried cherries and I'm just cutting them in half. They're already dried. They're gonna crumble or get really, really soft um, in the cream mixture because of the moisture. And I'm gonna just... I also had some leftover dates. And I don't know about you, but I like dates, honey, maple, nuts. You know, it has just a nice, nice flavor. And this will add another depth of flavor um, that's sweet. That's another sweet component. I'm going to add that to my tart mixture because the cherries and the apples. That will be really, really nice. So I'm going to take... 
my tart mixture here. So you can see I have the dry cherries, the sliced apples, and then I have the dates. So I'm just gonna take some of my mixture here. If I can find my, gotta edit that out. <laughs> okay. So about three tablespoons I'm gonna use here. So I'm just gonna mix the cream with my dates, make sure that everything is evenly distributed, incorporated, you don't want lumps, you wanna be able to have this in your spread and then taste each piece as you go, right? So I'm with a little bit more, one more tablespoon. So that's three tablespoons that we put in here. So we, I used about a cup of the seeds from the jackfruit. Half of it I put to roast and the other half I'm making the spreads with that you can see. So this is the tart cherries, dates, and apple. And that calls for a little bit of cinnamon. Come on, man, it's fall. Holler at your girl. A little bit of cinnamon. Oh yeah, we getting it in. Oh wow, this smells great. So I'll take my other spoon here, just to give it a taste. Oh wow, this is really good. You can put this on toast topping or stuffing for french toast omg this is the bomb right here nutmeg just about a pinch <laughs> smell that nutmeg omg Woo! love what i do price tartness from the cherry and the apples of sweetness from the dates and then that nice puck of cinnamon and nutmeg together and then that nice little texture from the crunch of the seeds and the cream wow it smells like the holidays tastes like the holidays holler at your girl okay so we're gonna take this one and we're gonna we're, we're going all in with the cherries excuse me, strawberries. Going on in with the strawberries. So for the strawberries, I'm just gonna put a little bit of nutmeg. I wanna have a, a different flavor and taste to the strawberries. I, I want to really taste that strawberry. Okay, so we have both of our different sets of creams. Now let's get our bread. And what do I always say? Let's play it up. But this is a recipe, quick recipe that we're doing. I'm showing you what I made from the seeds. It's not like the normal extended show. I have to give you that feel, that vibe. You feel me? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my serrated knife here and I'm just going to make some cuts here on the bias. I, I don't, I'm not gonna put it in the toaster right now to toast them off. Um, I'm sorry, my back was to the camera, right? My bad. Um, I just made some toast points here. So to my toast points, let me get my board. Come again. <laughs> I'm gonna get my board here so we can set up. So we've got our spreads. And then the first spread we'll do, we'll do that tart cherry and sour apple. The next one, we will do the 
strawberry. Strawberries and cream. That's what I called it. Strawberries and cream. And here's where the fun starts because now I want to make a savory. So now we have our savory and now we have some stuff that we that we can put with our savory. So I'm going to put these crispy jalapenos because I think this will give it a nice crunch. And adding to that, I also have some crispy beets instead of using croutons. Still gives you that crunchy uh, vibe that it has going on, but it also gives you one, a vegetable, um, and it still gives you a crunch, an even crunchier. So I like that. Okay, so next I have tart. tart cherries and sour apple. Remember I did those little cuts for our strawberries. Okay, so here, here we are. A quick recipe that you can make from those jackfruit seeds. The girl made a plant-based cream, boiled those seeds, let them sit overnight, got nice and creamy. Then I put it in my food processor, creamed it down with some creamer, coconut milk and almond milk, a little bit of maple syrup, pinch of salt. And then I added whatever I wanted to it. I added strawberries for strawberries and cream. I added some seasonal ingredients with cinnamon and nutmeg, a tart cherry and a sour apple to make a spread. And I garnished it with some, some barlet pears. Then we got some crispy things going on. We have our jalapeno crisp. That's gonna give you a nice bite, a nice crispy and a little bit of heat. I like that. You know, it's a good, it's a good appetizer to have and a good snack to have and it's healthy. It hits all the taste buds hits all the taste buds. So let's try it out. Jalapeno. Mmm. Mm. That's nice. Perfect. One thing I would do differently, what I didn't have time for is toast that bread so you get that nice crunch. But soft is good too. I'm not gonna do the beets. I'm gonna try this one. Like, this will knock me off my socks. This one right here. This is the tart, cherries, sour apple, fig, nutmeg, cinnamon, and Bartlett pears. Mm. My mama oatmeal. That's what made me think of with the raisins, the cinnamon, and nutmeg. I love my mama. Hey, mom. Mm. This, this is the bomb. I have to have this. Make me think of my mama. And there's strawberries and cream. Something light, whimsical, and fun. Mmm. Mm, that's nice. When I eat this, I think about dessert. Another concept you can have. It's sweet, the strawberries, healthy components, good for you. Jackfruit, the fruit that keeps on giving. Well, this was fun. I enjoyed doing my recipe testing with you. Much love to everybody. Enjoy your day. Keep being healthy, trying and striving to do better every day. We're doing, not trying, right? to live a healthier, healthier organic lifestyle from my humble organic kitchen to yours. This is Organic Chef, keeping it real, keeping it healthy, keeping it fresh. Have a great day. Stay tuned. Keep checking out for my videos on all my social media and much love to you. Hey, I'm out.
Rose.